Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center here at the Cold Steel section of SHOT Show 2024. We're here with some new product with our new friend Tom. How are you, sir? Nice to meet you. How are you nice doing? to meet you, man. Uh, so we're going to start off with something that uh, you guys have brought something out of the vaults, mm -hmm. reimagined it a little bit, and as I understand yep. it, this has kind of been your like passion project uh, for has, a little bit. It so. has been. For the last two years, we've been working on this project. Tell me a little um, bit about it. And yeah, we wanted to bring back the original 60 series from uh, Cold Steel, and we're actually calling it the Cold Steel Classic. So, um, so the first year, um, what we're planning on doing is bringing back the Spectre and the Caledonian Ditch. And I actually have the original uh, Spectre hmm. from 2005 in there. <laughs> and so the new ones are, you know, same dimensions following the same profile yep. and everything, but you're doing it, doing it a bit different to kind of differentiate, yep. Yep. yeah? So, yeah, the originals match the profiles exactly from the, the new ones match the original ones exactly. Um, but we did change up a couple things. Um, you know, these have such a high great resale value that we didn't want to hurt the aftermark on it. So we did it with a carbon fiber handrail, black blade, black finish. Um, but we did a few improvements on it and to make it a little more modern where we got rid of the uh, screws that were showing and changed up the pocket clip a little bit so that it has a deep pocket carry instead of the original carry on it. Bit of a more modern um, sensibility to the, the pocket clip, yep, sure. Yep. And it's titanium um, frame still, right? All titanium yeah. still, all titanium bolsters, titanium uh, liners with the tungsten still on it. We did the same exact original um, um, uh, liner lock on there that's very strong and durable, similar to our tie lights. Um, same blade profiles. For the Hawkbell blade, we did actually put a sharpened edge on it where the original actually did not have a sharp edge on it. Oh, so, really? I didn't yep. So this is... Yeah, it's actually not sharp. I it's never realized never that. Never sharpened, yeah. but we did put an edge on that one. And, um, so, and a little bit thinner on the steel uh, for the Hawkbill too, right? Yeah, a little bit thinner. The original one was a little bit thicker, so we did thin it out, and we actually evened out both sides as well because of the, it was lopsided with the liner. And then we felt that... And we, what's the, what is the steel on the new versions? 20 CV. 20 CV steel. Yep. And All we right. felt that we needed to have a drop point version as well. The original never had a drop point but we felt that a drop point really worked for this style and was maybe a little more practical than mm -hmm. the Hawkbill. <laughs> yeah, every day. Yeah, for, most folks will probably be able to use that a little more effectively. Mm -hmm. it, it, it feels good with the drop point. It, it's got mm -hmm. a good line to it for sure. Yeah, it's nice and slim, not gonna take yep. up too much width in your pocket. It's not super skinny though, so if you yep. want something that does take up a small footprint but you still have a more solid grip yep. in the hand, this could provide that. Yeah, very nice. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, very cool. I like the, uh, the the black coating on this blade isn't mm -hmm. just like a dead black coating. You still mm -hmm. get like the shine and the, yep. the, the feel of steel underneath, which is Absolutely. cool. Yeah, this on, on these two, we didn't do the uh, full mirror polish on it, but for future 60 series, we'll have full mirror polish on those ones that, that do have it. So, cool. Uh, yeah, next one, the Caldonia Edge. This is actually one of my favorite ones. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to bring back this series. I just love this design and profile. It's just it's unique and, and it's just awesome action and, and looks and feels great in your hand and, and I just personally love it. So yeah. that was one of the inspirations behind that one. Um, again, we, we copied the exact same profile designs, all the details in there as far as the grips and everything, mm -hmm. but again, hiding the screws, um, putting a deep pocket clip, and uh, again, with the same carbon fiber, forged carbon fiber yeah. on that one with uh, a black polish on it. What I like about this, and this, this may have been what, the way it happened initially, is You've got the holdout series in mm -hmm. the Cold Steel lineup now, which is kind of this same mm -hmm. shape, more mm -hmm. or less. Um, but this is kind of sitting in between the small and the large version of that. Yep. So you got, you're got you going to have a new mid-sized version in between those, bringing it back. It's still a full-size knife. I mean, that's mm -hmm. about over a four-inch blade, or I think yep. it looks like. And But it's going to handle nice and neutrally, thanks to that symmetrical handle. And my favorite part about it is this depression here along the bolster. It gives you... Mm -hmm a real nice place for your thumb to just find and anchor in and mm -hmm. feel like you've got really nice control over it. Yeah, yeah. it's a great knife. Very, very cool. Uh, so these are expected uh, this year sometime? Yeah, it should be first quarter, I believe, is when we're going to have them available. All right. Um, and yeah. like you said, like two, uh, two per year then, is the current plan? Yep, like two, release two each year, and these yeah. are the first two year, and uh, I'm actually already got the prototypes for their next year's release. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> so. Um, the MSRP on this one's gonna be four ninety nine, and then this one's gonna be uh, two ninety nine on that one. So sounds good. Uh, we've got another knife over here that's kind of uh, updating a classic mm -hmm. cold steel, yep. um, a still in production cold steel, mm -hmm. which is the Recon series. Yep. So Magna Cut is all the rage these days. So you know we had to come up with Magna Cut line, Magna Cut blade. It's it's a great steel all around. So 
we were thinking what knife will best get use out of the magnet cut. And the Recon 1 is just a hard, every, every man's all day use, you know, great knife to just get hard knocks out of. So yeah, we want sure. this knife to be used. <laughs> for sure. You know, this is not just for show, this is to be used. So um, that's why we chose this knife and the steel suits it. It's the best steel out there. So kind of the best knife to put the best steel on. Excellent. I mean, you've got the, the toughness out of Magna Cut is great, and you've yep. got the triad lock backing that up. Absolutely. You've got the strength you need. Mm -hmm. um, Italian-made version. These aren't yes, out of Taiwan like the standard versions, yeah? Correct, correct, yeah. We can't get Magna Cut overseas, so I had, to, had it done in Italy to um, get Magna Cut made on there. Well, like, if it didn't say Italy, like, there's nothing mm -hmm. here to indicate that it's that it's any different than the Taiwan stuff, which is not Correct. which is not saying that that's a bad thing. That just goes to show how good the Taiwan stuff actually is. Yep. And but our um, yeah, we've we've had actually uh, Italian maids blade before, so they're familiar with the triad mm -hmm, lock and, mm -hmm. and the, how the inner workings of it work. So uh, yeah, there should be. No you got versions of the the four the max are made. Yeah, mm -hmm. over there. Yeah, feels really. Feel, it feels like a recon. It is. Yeah. What can it I is. say? And it's one of the best feeling knives, I think for the all-around grip that's just never going to go anywhere. It just locks you in. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Excellent. And one more thing to take a look at here, and this is actually still in the prototype stage, mm -hmm. but expected this year, you're yep. saying. Yep, we'll have it this year. It should be probably on Q2. The Balasong, the yep. Archangel. The original Archangel. So this is a proto, as mentioned, yep. but here it is. Yep, so all made, all made in USA, um, every single part. Um, we've got S35VN steel on it and with the aluminum handles and it's a uh, fully engineered from the original like for like copy on mm -hmm. every aspect of it in every way um, it was one of the original bell songs so you know we just wanted to get it out there and bring it back and, and hope nice. people enjoy it so, so the the latch is going to be on the the other side the on the proto here it's uh, yeah, not where it's on supposed to be side. but yeah. uh yeah i mean the lines look really good mm -hmm. the materials choices are going to be nice if you actually want to do more than just play with your belly, if you want to actually cut stuff with it, mm -hmm. you're going to have a, uh, a nice high performing steel, steel here to go with it. And uh, bushings in the pivot, because I know people are going to ask. Correct, yes. Yeah, very cool. Yep, the original had it, so we're copying this one. And then one more thing, we could, it wouldn't fit on the, uh, no. <laughs> the display up here. <laughs> new version of the Espada XL, this is just yep. new color, right? New or, color, yeah, yep. it's our ruby red color. Uh, looks sharp, looks great, you know. Yeah, same as Spada. It's your two-handed pocket sword, and yep. yes, it does fit in a pocket, you just can. barely. Yep. Uh, not every pocket, of course, okay. but uh, it works. You've got the uh, Demco ambidextrous thumb plate on there, so you yep. can actually use it uh, akin to like the Wave-style pocket opener. Mm -hmm. Pull it out of your pocket, the blade's deployed. There's something. There, there's just about nothing more satisfying in the knife industry than pulling this knife out of your pocket Absolutely. with the blade ready to rock. It makes quite an impression. It sure that. does. <laughs> it sure does. So keep an eye out for this stuff, folks. Uh, that's all we've got for now. Uh, but there's definitely going to be some more stuff in 2024 from the Cold Steel folks. Keep an eye on the Cold Steel brand page and the new knives page, the new items page on our website, where you can see this stuff just as soon as it is available. Make sure to check out the rest of our SHOT Show coverage as well. Tom, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate man. your time. See you guys. Thank you.